Our next guest is nominated for four Grammy Awards, including Best New Artist, Best Rock Performance, Best Rock Song, and Best Alternative Music Album for Punisher, which is available now. Please welcome back to the show, Phoebe Bridgers. Hi, Phoebe, how are you? I'm great, how are you? I'm great. So this is your third time, technically, on the show. It's the first time we're chatting. Uh, you were in studio uh, with Boy Genius in 2018. Uh, then you did a beautiful uh, film performance for us during the pandemic. Uh, is it different as an artist being on a talk show, one where you get to film it ahead of time and the other where you get to be in studio? Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I'm honestly going to be so spoiled after all this because I love the control. Um, I actually, when I was on your show with Boy Genius, I yodeled really loud on accident. <laughs> and, uh, and, you know, you can't go back and fix it. It was a nightmare. Uh, so I like being able to listen to mixes and make changes. Is, is an accidental yodel something that happens to you often, or was it just in the moment? Yeah, I have the accidental yodel, yodel when I hit high notes, and then also an accidental Eddie Vedder, <laughs> where like, if I hit a really loud note, sometimes I have like, <clears throat> it goes on. It's pretty rad. Oh, well, I'm very, I will let you know that I did not uh, notice. I only thought it was a wonderful performance. I'm, I'm wondering how weird it is you had this album, and it receives all this praise and these multiple Grammy nominations, and yet most of it is happening at home for you. Is it been a even more surreal year than it is for most people because you would have been so out and about, I would imagine, on the back of this great album? Yes, it's so weird. Um, I hate that like, the only connection I have to my friends and the universe is online. Uh, yeah, it feels super weird. Um, grocery store is where I hang out. That's it. There... It's, a, you know, another <laughs> a, a thing that seems, I don't know, fortuitous seems like the wrong word, but, you know, again, this is an album that was written, recorded ahead of time, but a lot of the issues, you know, uh, grief, uh, family relationships, the world ending are very much uh, at the forefront of this album. How has that been to know that you sort of wrote the perfect album for a very hard time? Yeah, I feel like I'm always having a hard time. So uh, I'm terrified of everything. I always think the world's going to end. Um, so I think maybe even if I released my first record around now, people would have thought it was about COVID. But weirdly, I think looking back, I'll remember the record more from when I released it than when I wrote it. It actually kind of does remind me of isolation. Um, I think because I play the, played the song so much in my bedroom. I, I've heard tell that your neighbors are maybe not thrilled with uh, living next to a musician who plays songs in uh, her bedroom. Are they, have they changed their tune at all based on the success of the album? I have one cool neighbor, Michael, who says what's up to me uh, and, and knows that I have a real job. But um, there's one neighbor that tells me to shut up. And then my next next door neighbor plays slap bass. So I feel like I'm suffering from his slap bass. Like my acoustic guitar whispering after a whole day of slap bass is just too much. <laughs> right, you're the tipping point. Mm -hmm. um, one, you know, again, I do think it's really important to look at silver linings over the course of this last year. And I will say, I thought it was really uh, awesome and uh, cool to see you on the cover of Variety. I don't know if you'd have told me uh, March 11th last year that you were going to be on the cover of Variety. I would have uh, I've been like, wow, what kind of year is it going to be? <laughs> so, uh, but somebody got edited out of this photo. Oh my God, I know. She really did. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you brought her to the photo shoot and they took a bunch with the dog, yes? Yes. And then they just iced her. I know, I think there's like a video of us doing the photo shoot that she's in it, but she's super photogenic, so I don't understand. She's just <laughs> sleeping on my lap. <laughs> yeah, it must be like a weird Zoom filter right now because she looks a little weird, but obviously she's an incredibly... <laughs> I get, we yeah. can all tell she's an incredibly beautiful dog. Um, hey, one uh, thing that's really cool, uh, I'd love to finish with this, is uh, you in uh, the breast uh, rock category. It's all female artists. Uh, that's never happened before. Um, it's such a, a neat thing to be a part of. Uh, do you feel a connection uh, to the nominees? I know thing, you know, people always say like, oh, I'm, it's so great to be nominated with this group of people, but maybe this year uh, that's even more true than normal. Definitely. Yeah, I'm such a huge fan of everybody who put out records, especially in like the alternative categories. I just feel like there are people I would have been, we call it tour bidding, when you're like 
on a festival tour and you see the same people every day because everybody put out a record at the same time. Um, so I feel like there are people that I probably would have gotten pretty close with because we all released music um, last year, but being ripped away from that, it's cool to be, to have some, something so awesome as the Grammys bring us kind of closer. Uh, also, you released a, a cover of a John Prine song, Summer's End, and I, you know, one of the days that I feel COVID most became real to me because I was such a fan of his was when he passed away in, in sort of the early part of, of last spring. And uh, I'm assuming he was someone uh, that you were a fan of for, for you to do a cover like that. Yeah, that was the worst day ever. It was just, you know, he'd been struggling with his health for a long time, but he pulled through and completely relearned how to sing. And I saw him in Oslo. It was the weirdest. I, I landed the first day of tour, walked out of the airport, saw this huge sign that was like John Prine tonight. And I feel I, he represents kind of the, the pinnacle of like American music to me. Um, so I saw him at this like theater in Oslo and uh, people clapping very politely. And he talked about American politics and was so charming. And I've seen him a bunch, but um, yeah, that was a very depressing day and, and definitely one of the reasons I chose it. And he was nominated for Best New Artist in 1972, which is pretty cool. Uh, well, that is a very uh, nice way to close this. Uh, thanks for doing that. Thanks for the album and thanks for being here. It's just a delight to see you, Phoebe. Yeah, thanks so much, man. Punisher is available now. We will be right back with more Late Night.